YouTube, you're watching At Home with Zane, and today is Show and Tell Tuesday. And what that means is, I'm gonna show you some home accessories and uh, DIY projects that I've created, and then I'm going to tell you the materials that I used and exactly what I created and how it was done. So right now, gold accents are really popular, but to buy them new is also really expensive. So I've created some DIY projects. Um, using gold metallic spray paint, and most of these uh, supplies have come from the dollar store. So first up, I'm going to show you this little gold horse. Um, he is a toy from the dollar store. I picked him up for a dollar, and then I used Rust-Oleum's metallic gold spray paint. Um, I gave him two coats of spray paint, and he turned out really, really, really cute really wonderful. Um, I have a china cabinet that is displayed in our family room and I'll be showing you that later. Um, all of these accent pieces I used in that china cabinet um, because the theme is white and silver and gold. So this little horse sits in there and he's really cute, very easy to make. Next up, I have uh, so I had a piece of milk glass that um, you know naturally was white, and I thought it would be really cute to take the milk glass dish and spray paint it with the metallic uh, gold spray paint, and then I just added these little uh, paper white flowers to it, and that sits in the shelf, and it's a really great accent piece um, with the design of the milk glass, and then also the gold color really, really makes a great impact. Uh, the next piece is my dollar store apple. So I have two of these. Um, they're just red apples from the dollar store and I spray painted it gold and that creates the look of almost like gold leafing. So it looks really elegant um, and, and really very charming uh, in my cabinet. So this is an apple from the dollar store, spray painted gold. And then we've got our lion here. He is also a toy from the dollar store. Um, I have two of them. I could use them for bookends, um, but what I chose to do is to display them in my cabinet on a book, uh, which I'll be showing you next. This is just spray painted with metallic gold spray paint, but he looks uh, real expensive and a really nice little whimsical piece. So I have some old books that I got, um, I think for a quarter at our thrift store, and I painted them white. Um, this is actually a flat white paint, and I just simply took the books and I painted them white. The secret is to keep the pages from getting painted, you open the book and you slide a Ziploc baggie over the pages. And then you're able to stand the book up, just like this, spray paint all the different sides, and then you're not damaging the pages at all when the book is still able to open. So on my shelf, I have my book, my lion, and my apple, and it just looks really elegant and is a really cute little touch. So that was really simple to make. The next thing is these spears. These are spiked uh, spears, and right now, I believe at um, Restoration Hardware, these are going for about $25 to $35 a piece. But I simply took a styrofoam ball from the floral department at um, the dollar store, some toothpicks, and some Rust-Oleum gold spray paint, and I created this uh, sphere, a spiky sphere. And it really creates a unique little touch to my cabinet. Very simple to make. You can sort of choose how uh, thick you want the spears to be, um, the toothpicks, but I put a generous amount on here and it looks really cute. I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. The next thing is my rose gold um, flower pop here. This is from the dollar store. It was just a glass uh, bowl. I think you've probably seen these before if you've ever shopped at the dollar store. Um, they're, they're a dollar and they have lots of them. So I bought Rust-Oleum Metallic rose gold spray paint and that is a beautiful rosy gold color 
And then I bought some white roses also from the dollar store. Um, I cut them down to size. And then a little trick to creating a bouquet um, is that you take the bouquet and you tie together the ends with some twine or some rope. And then that way it stays together when you put it inside of your pot. Then after you get it together, you can sort of piece it the way that you want, but you don't have to worry about the pieces all falling out. So this was a really nice little elegant floral arrangement I made for our family room. Then I bought this picture frame from our local thrift store. Um, it was a Target frame and uh, they had several of them. It was $1.99. Um, it already was white, but I bought this gift bag from Target for $1.50 and it's gold and white, sort of a chevron print here if you can see. And I just simply cut it down to size and put it in this frame and it creates a nice little piece of artwork, picture for um, a table. It sits on a table in our family room. And it's just a really simple, inexpensive way to dress up your decor. And then lastly, I made this metallic um, gold vase. So this was extremely easy, um, but there are a few little tricks to this. First off, I used latex gloves when I did all of these projects, and I would highly recommend doing so. Um, they sell packages of 10 at the dollar store because you're going to be picking these pieces up, you know, like this to spray them and making sure everything's covered. And it will create a very big mess on your hands if you don't use some sort of coverage. So I used painter's tape, uh, which I also got from the dollar store. And I created some stripes here on my glass. Anywhere that is glass is where your tape goes. Anywhere that's covered in paint is where the paint touched. So I wanted for mine, I wanted it to have um, a little bit of glass at the top, but then also have some pretty wide bands throughout the vase. So the trick to this is when you put your masking tape on and you cover it, let it dry for a few minutes and then give it another coat. Let it dry completely before you start pulling off the tape. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to have little shreds of um, gold paint that looks really chipped up and really not very attractive. So the best thing to do is let it dry completely. And then I have this um, dollar store flower here that was really pretty and I just simply dropped it in the vase and this sits on a nightstand um, in my bedroom. So another really simple but elegant, really easy um, decor piece here. So as I said, most of these things came from the dollar store um, and the products that I used were the Rust-Oleum uh, metallic gold spray paint. Um, I used the metallic uh, rose gold spray paint as well. Um, and then I just took an old book, um, an apple from the dollar store, some dollar store uh, toys, some flowers, um, some toothpicks, a styrofoam ball, and I've created all of these wonderful little accent pieces that look so attractive displayed, and they really have an expensive high-end look. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comments below. We'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love.